All right, so today I'm going to be replacing the driver for my RAID controller in my HP ProLiant Microserver Gen 8. Um, so what I did was I installed ESXi from the HP customized image, and what I found is that the performance is terrible for the, the storage. Um, if we look at the performance metrics here specifically, I don't have any VMs running here, and you can see the disk latency is pretty awful. Um, it actually spikes up to about 66 milliseconds, which is just terrible. So uh, I did a bunch of research online, and I found that a lot of users are having the same issue. And what they've done is they've basically downgraded to the, the previous driver. So that's what I'll be doing today. So if we go to Manage, and we look at our packages here. And we'll do a quick search for HP VSA. You can see this is the current driver, so it's 5.5.0.102. And what I'm going to be doing is downgrading to 5.5.0-88.0. So I've already downloaded that, it's on my desktop here. So what I'm going to do is First off, I'm going to come over here to Services and start up SSH. Alright. Then I'm going to put the host to maintenance mode. By the way, I'm doing all this from the ESXi host client. You could do all this, all these steps from vCenter as well. Um, and then the last step here, I'm going to come over to my storage. My, I've got a local data store. And I'm going to copy that vib up here. So I'm just going to create a folder. Call it vibs. And I'm just going to upload the vib here. Alright. So it's about 700 kilobytes. Make sure that's the right size. Yep, that's about right. Alright, so we'll close that. Now what I'm going to do is SSH into my host. Alright, so you can see I'm at the root here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill down in that uh, data store. So Alright, so there's, uh, there's the vib. So now what I'm going to do is just copy that over to the var slash log slash VMware folder. Let me do the paste here. Oops, that's not what I want. Let me try this one more time. Here we go. So copy uh, that vib file over to var log VMware. All right. And now if we go to that directory. There's my there's my new vid. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm, I should already be in maintenance mode, which I am. So I'm going to remove the old driver first. So I'm going to do ESX CLI software vib remove dash n SCSI dash HP VSA. And that is actually the name of it here. We look at the packages. SCSI dash HPVSA, right? Um, and then of course that. We'll give that a second. Okay, so that finished. You can see there were no vibs installed. Uh, just the one vib was removed. And in order for that to take effect, I need to reboot the host. So before I do that, though, I'm going to install the other vib, the one I actually want. 
So here you can see the command ESX CLI software vib install dash v. Uh, point to the file name and let that run. All right, so that finished. It did take a couple minutes to finish here, uh, but you can see that the vib was successfully installed. So now what I'm going to do is just reboot. And I'm going to pause the video here for a minute because it's going to take a couple minutes for my host to reboot. So I'll be right back. All right, so you can see my host is just about up and running here. Got good pings. I'm watching it via the console. But I can probably log back in here. Let's do this. Almost done. All right, there we go. So first thing I'm going to do, let's go into manage. I'm going to check the packages here. So we'll keep that same filter on. And now you can see it's 5.5.0-88 OEM. And that's exactly what we wanted. So in theory now, if I take this out of maintenance mode and fire up a VM, we should see much better performance here. So I'm going to start up my RDSH host, and we'll watch that boot up. Oh yeah, that's much faster already. So let me close the console. I'm going to RDP into it. Hopefully this comes across on the video here. Yeah, yeah, much faster. So before, when I was doing this and launching the server manager, it took me 2 minutes and 34 seconds to get to where I am right here, which only took me a few seconds. So looks like a successful uh, change. So thanks for joining.